but you see there's something about me that you don't know. Yeah, what would that be? It's my lucky day. Oh my god, did you see that shot? I'm amazing. I'm Batman. Yeah, you're Batman. In fact, I just spent uh, about three and a half hours in the studio yesterday doing uh, doing Batman. Oh wow, you did yeah. Batman too! Yeah. Look at that. That's a big deal. That is a big deal. Getting Batman. I don't want to drop deal. that ball. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jensen, you uh, played both uh, Red Hood and Batman in the DC Animated Universe. Um, which one did you uh, enjoy being more than Jared? If you could be someone in the DC Animated Universe, who would you want to be? Good question. Um, uh, I mean, look, uh, Red Hood was really cool, and that, that kind of opened the door for uh, for Batman. But I think it's it's. I mean, definitely a little boy dream of mine was to actually get paid to say, I'm Batman. This city has fallen, Alfred. Then we must endeavor to lift it up again, Bruce. In fairness, in fairness. You already had been playing to say I'm Batman. <laughs> but I wasn't Batman. So, but you thought you were. But I wanted to be. That was happening. And so I think I was literally checking a box both for Jensen and Dean Winchester. Um, and and I, I, I've gotten to do it a, a couple of times and I just signed on to do another one. So. <laughs> Before Jensen got his dream role of playing the Cape Crusader himself in Batman The Long Halloween Part 1 and 2, he got to play another iconic role of Red Hood in Batman Under the Red Hood back in 2010, another iconic DC animated Batman movie that I really enjoyed, and Jensen killed the voice acting role as Red Hood as well. So needless to say, I would Your equipment's weighing you down. Why are you running? Fun. I really barely thought about Dean while watching this movie. I think Jensen is talented enough to alter his vocal range enough to differentiate his characters in that way. And we have already seen his vocal talent in previous roles like Red Hood and even as Archangel Michael aka Daikel on Supernatural. Show him. Be more God than God. But now? I just want to burn every one of his little worlds until I catch up to the old man. And then what? Even God can die. I think it's as much fun as I've had doing whatever sort of voiceover VR type stuff that I have done in the past. I think I'll leave it to the pros. You know, I've met a few really talented actors and actresses who are in the voiceover world. And it's one of those things where like, yeah, I'd, I'd love to, you know, I, I grew up playing basketball, I'd love to try and play in the NBA. Then you play in the NBA and you're like, I'm not gonna play in the NBA. Uh, it's, it's, very, it's very different, it's very, very different. Um, you know, I've done 400 something episodes of television in front of the camera, and then doing stuff like the, the supernatural anime or whatever, behind the camera, you're like, oh, this is totally different. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll leave that to the pros and I'll just watch it. Thanks so much. Thank you. 
You know a video would've gone viral? If we still had it. When you were five and you got dressed up as Batman and you jumped off the shed because you thought you could fly? After you jumped first. Hey, I was nine and I was dressed up like Superman, okay? Everybody knows that Batman can't fly. Well, I didn't know that. I broke my arm. I know you did. Dad, I drove you to the ER on my handlebars. That's what you never understood. I'm controlling it. You want to rule them by fear. But what do you do with the ones who aren't afraid? I'm doing what you won't. I'm taking them out. Tell me what happened to you. Let me... You want to rule them by fear, but what do you do with the ones who aren't afraid? I'm doing what you won't. I'm taking them out. <laughs> Awesome. That's awesome. You're awesome.